It's the AL Central taking on the East. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Baltimore Orioles. Where else but 2K Sports? Very good afternoon. Major League Baseball 2K Sports. Trade deadline has come and gone. We'll get a look at that as we take a look at our ball game. A look at Mark Burley. He'll be doing his best to get a W on the mound tonight. Oriole Park in Baltimore. The Orioles home for this one. The right-hander on the mound to make the start, Jeremy Guthrie. As he gets into this White Sox lineup, Steve, a little strategy. Well, a good right-handed pitcher on the mound right here facing this lineup that can score some runs. It's going to be critical for him to keep the ball down in the zone and pitch to his capabilities. If he does that, he should have success. Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup Ozzie Gian's got going. Now, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? For one of the more powerful swings you will ever see. I mean, Jim Tomey's a big, big man, six foot three, over 250 pounds. So if you're a pitcher and you're facing Jim Tomey, you make the mistake, there's a pretty good chance, and don't be surprised or shocked that he hits it out of the park. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. Last outing for the White Sox proved to be a win. One game after another, they really do not seem stoppable right now. They're just piling up the W's. Well, Gary, this is going to be some great summer baseball for these guys. Way out in front and looking very, very strong, building on this terrific season. Good pitch from Guthrie. That was swung on and missed. The pieces, they came together, and now in the month of August, they are on a tear. Well, they absolutely are, and the only thing that, der that can derail this team is injury. Let's hope they stay healthy. Now we'll show you how the Orioles are lined up around the field. Thought, Steve, anybody uh, stand up? Cesar Sturz, the guy who can really flash the leather, Gary. He can make any type of play, and he can throw off balance as well. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Runner on first, no out. That one's wide, got three misses. Now, Gary, this is a breaking ball down and away, and it just runs off the plate for a ball this time. Ready with a 1 0. Outside as Ramirez takes it for a ball. Here's one hit very well deep. One bounce onto the wall. Damon heads for third. And he's waved home. And they've got him in the pickle now. Oh boy, this is getting ugly quick. The throw. And they tag him close at home. He wanted that run. He didn't get it. He'll hold there at second base. Curted him with a double. Get to take a look at one here that probably should have ended at first base. Well, he had the burners on coming out of the batter's box and rounding first base. Great aggressiveness on his part. He didn't let up and he gets in safely. No indecision when he got the first base. That's how you get in safely to second. And it's Paul Canerco now. That one's wide, got three misses. Here's the delivery. Ball. That's it, foul by Canerco. Canerco fouls off another. There's a swing and a hit deep into center field. Way back there. And out of here. A home run. Two runs. One swing. And so they jump out to the 2-0 lead. Wow, what a great time for a two-run shot like that. Home run coming with a runner on. That's good for two. Let's see the impact it has on our Pepsi WPA graph. A great piece of hitting right there. He turns on that one, rotates the hips, and drives the ball. And that's going to give them the lead here and an early lead. I'm going to see if they can tack on a few more here in the first and put the pressure on. Well, that's what you want. Run support for your pitching and attack the opposition. That's what the White Sox are doing right here.
Guthrie with the pitch. He gets Quinton to swing. Strike one. Yeah, we've got offense here in the first inning just the way they wanted to start this ball game. Now, the pitching's going to have to settle down here. Now, I know it's early, but you don't want this thing to spiral out of control. Good downward movement on that pitch. It's one and two. I'll tell you what, last night he swung the bat well. Drove in four big runs for his club. Slider down at the shoe tops as he dances away. It's risky to come in that far off the plate, even to send a message, because you sometimes hit the batter. Three, that two. one's wide, got three missiles. When you throw a breaking ball like this, you want to start it on the corner and break it off the zone, trying to get the hitter to chase. The hitter didn't You're take out. the bait here. Uh, it's Carlos Quentin looking there, and it's strike three. A good two-strike fastball in on his hands. He couldn't pull the trigger. And Beckham's in the box. He has seven hits, 22 career ABs against the Orioles. And it's 0-1. Guthrie gets him looking. Look, Gary, that's a great four-seam fastball, but when you lay it down the heart of the plate, you know you're at risk for the ball getting tattooed. One one. Unfortunately, the hitter didn't swing. Yo, a little low. Got it in the dirt, but he held on. The 1-1. Swings, ball is clobbered high, deep to left center field. Putting a little padding on the lead. Solo shot up by three. Now well, that's the second one this inning here, Gary. So something, like, how much longer can they leave him in the game? Well, he better start brushing people away here because they're just settling in on him. You're right. They look real comfortable. White Sox lead expanding here. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. Called strike outer half of the plate. Oh, and one. This is where you want to go with the breaking ball to the outside corner. Paint the black. Get the call. The hitter gave up on it. He got the pitch he wanted. And Tejada picks it up. He's He'll out. throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. Boy, manager loves to see this. They come out hard, put up a few. The White Sox have the lead. Three to nothing. Mark Burley is going to be pitching. He's going to start for Chicago. And as he gets going against these Baltimore hitters, what do you think we're going to see? It'll be fun to watch Mark Burley in this one. This may be over before we know it because he works so quickly out on the mound. And he uses all of his pitches, a fastball, a curveball, a changeup, a slider, and a cut fastball. And he'll throw them at any time of the count to keep the hitters off balance. And the first pitch. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0 and 1. For his career, 254 against the White Sox. O and 1. Burley kicks and delivers. And the leadoff fan of this ball game's on board. Now See if they get it started the early. Orioles. Time for the Pepsi Second starting team. lineup. Here's how the Number Orioles 10. look. Scouting pick John, who are we uh, looking at today? Well, as an old guy myself, I love watching these veteran guys play. Look, Miguel Tejada's range at shortstop is not as good as it once was when he first came up to the big league, but he plays with smarts now. He positioned himself better, and he still has those good hands to make the consistent plays. Burley with a delivery. Ball. First pitch, a slider outside, 1-0. Here's the 1 0. There's a smash towards the hole. And a moment to check out the defensive alignment for the White Sox. And, uh, Steve, individual factors out there. Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. It's going to be Weeders. One hit pretty well, but uh, it goes foul oh. off to the right. Strike Mark two. Burley gets that important strike going to. Oh. Still low and two. And 
And the cut fastball's in there. Strike three, one away. Well, that's a big first out of this inning. Now let's see if he can come back and get out of this thing unscathed. And Luke Scott to bat. He's off in a walk, top five in the league. And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0 and 1. Base runners are what you want. It's on base percentage. Get on and see what happens. And this guy's so patient, he finds different ways to get on. He'll take a walk. And they get it. They turn two. And heading to the dugout, Mark Burley. Works his way out of the first inning without allowing anyone to score. And it'll be the White Sox. Leading it off, A.J. Przinsky, one of the best batting averages in the league. A.J. Przinsky. Good pitch from Guthrie. That was swung on and missed. A line drive toward short. So Krasinski retired. And the batter's box is Ian. Right there in the top five in home runs. One out. Faces him. Guthrie with the pitch. And this is bounced foul to the left side. Strike. And that's a strike. Martinez going to have to take very close approach on the next one. Three big hits in that game last night, and they'd love to get that contribution again today. We got him there. That was a nice strikeout. Very little movement on this pitch at 93 miles per hour, courtesy of KK. And Jim Tomey, what a year for him. Top five in homers. Oh. Fastball just misses. 1-0. and oh. The 1-0 now. Look out. That one ran in and got him. Fastball, that has to hurt. He gets, he gets to go down first base, but not without taking a bruise for his effort. And that'll bring Johnny Damon to the plate. Now, Garrett, we saw that hitter get hit with the pitch right there. It's just a mechanical issue. He'll get that ironed out a little bit, but I don't think it's intentional, certainly. First pitch on the way to Damon. Ball. Catcher can't control it. And now the 1 0. Right Swing and a miss. Damon not making contact to even it up. And now we'll see if he can regroup here, get control of that pitch again, see how willing he is to throw it again right away. Well, what right you don't down. want to do is let it get in your head when you start to worry about pitching inside or getting too close to anybody. So he's got to make sure his head's right. The 1 2 on its way. You're out. Strike three. Damon on a swing and a miss turned away. And Jeremy Guthrie will head in. Tough start, starting to improve. He allowed three in the first, shuts him down in the second. And we move on to the bottom half of the second inning. And Wigginton's batting. Number 23, Smash towards the middle. Back up. One away now. Boy, he made that throw a split second before he lost control of the plot. Now, the key was he kept his eye on the target the entire time. Big smile. He got that one done. Base is empty with one away. Burley with a delivery. First pitch is a changeup. Looked at 0-1. What an outstanding pitch. Changing speeds, hitting your spots. Throw that change up away. Good movement to that cutter, and he's in the hole now, 0-2. Oh. 
and it holds at 0 and 2. Cutter called strike three. He knew it too. Two down. Well, that's paint in the black right there. He just throws it to the outside corner exactly where they wanted to get the punch out. And Aubrey at the plate. Batting 250 lifetime, 3 for 12 record against the White Sox. Right Fastball is in there. It's 0 and 1. Now that he's gotten the four seamer down and in, look for him to go outside now. Right Mark two. Burley gets that important strike 0 and 2. Boy, that good late movement down that cut fastball. Unbelievable action on that pitch. You're Check out. swing, strike three, call. Side retired. And they aren't able to get anything going in this half inning. Three up, three away. Baltimore still hoping to put something up. Two hole to get things started next. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. Shortstop. And uh, at the plate, Alexi one of the tops and runs Ramirez. scored. Top five. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Straight Good one. pitch from Guthrie. That was swung on and missed. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate. Day in and day out. That consistency oh. is critical to their success. Hit hard on the ground towards third. Oh, and so right. Ramirez retired. And Paul Canerco to bat. He homered earlier in the ballgame. Well, the team winning, he's been a big part of the offense. Driving in the run with a base hit, and then the home run where he got a pitch that he could drive out of the ballpark and capitalize on. Nobody on base, one away. And he starts Canerco out. Right. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Over his career, three hits, 17 at bats off Jeremy Guthrie. Swings, lines this one back up the middle, and that one is in there, his second hit today. At That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. Well, he waited for that one to get deep in the zone, and he put a good swing on it. Now, with one out, let's see if they try to move him along. He's the league leader in hits. One out, runner on at first. First pitch to Quinton. Sliders in there, no balls and a strike. Got three sends the 0 1 pitch. Paul felt it deep left center field, way back, way back. Goodbye, home run, a two run digger. The lead is five thanks to that two run shot. White Sox lead expanding here. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. Number 15, Gordon Beckham. One out, nobody on. First pitch, here it comes. Takes a swing at that fastball, can't connect on one. And Steve, they're starting to run away here, even though it's early in the ball game. Uh, the offense putting real pressure on the pitcher. Well, taking advantage of the mistakes by the pitching staff and capitalizing on it. And when they get back out there, they need their pitcher to put up zeros. Headed for the middle, and Tejada picks it up, and Beckham set down. And be sure to tune in next Friday. It'll be Ian Kensley and the Texas Rangers. They'll be hosting the Boston Red Sox. Action gets started 8 Eastern. A chance to watch two good teams matching up in that one, Gary. Look, really looking forward to it. So Alex Rios, he'll try and keep it going. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. And he starts Rios out. First pitch, and he misses the fastball, strike one. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out, and a guy that... Uh, really can deliver for this offense. At 
That's going to bring up A.J. Pierzynski. Well, anytime you can get a guy on base who can steal bases, it puts so much pressure on the opponent. Let's see if they can get him around to score a run. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. Here's the pitch. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0-1. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense and somebody they've really come to rely upon. Fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. Well, they add a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. White Sox, they've got a commanding five-run lead. Glimpse of Dave Tremblay, the skipper. He's dealing with the prospect of an offense unable to get any runs here, compounded by the performance of his pitchers, especially over the last three outs. He's our first batter, home half of the third inning. Burley with a delivery. Sliders in there for a called strike. Down, down, down. It's all about location. That breaking ball down in the zone makes it very difficult on the hitter. Hit on the ground over to shortstop. And Ramirez fields the ball. Over to Canerco. That's one away. Number 28. Rookie right fielder stands in. One out, nobody on. A swing and a miss. Good pitch from Burley. Right. Swing and a miss, and he's behind on the count 0 and 2. I don't think he's going to waste any time right now. He's just going to go right at him with that 0 2 pitch. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And he steps on first. That's the second out. Number Look, Gary, he's pitching well right now. And that's seven straight that he's retired. He is really locked in. And we've got his tourist batting. He's two for ten lifetime against Burl. And here's the first one. Nice reflexes there to keep that one under control. That one was in the dirt. The 1 0 -oh pitch. 1-0 no pitch. That's a cutter in there. 1-1. One one. The 1-1 one one pitch. Hot shot towards the hole. And the tag is applied. Side retired. Not a lot of action in this half inning. Nothing on. The White Sox still ahead. And here's Mark Tian leading it off. And he's in the top ten in the league and runs. Twenty-five, Mark Tian. First one to Tian. Here's the pitch. Swings and misses. The good change right there. On one. Consistency, professionalism. He never seems to give up in at bat, Gary. He's so locked in this year. And Tian swings and misses, strike three. Well, he went with the power curve there. Let's take a look at that in the cake here. Well, this one was running down and away, but even if he didn't swing it, it might have still caught the corner. Yeah, John, that pitch was pretty perfectly placed. Nothing you can do about it. Base is empty, one out. Here's the pitch. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0 and 1. One for six career numbers for him against Birkin. Ball. And he leaves that pitch alone. Jim Tomei with patience evens the count. Well, that pitch right there just seemed to get away from the pitcher, took off on him. Looked like he tried to overthrow that two a little bit. Curveball misses, and it's two and one. That one swung on and missed by Tomei, and that evens it up. Well, you talk about a guy who just corkscrewed himself into the ground. Bad timing. Swings, clobbers this one. Deep left center field. 
Goodbye home run. Well, I don't know what's going wrong for these guys. Extending their lead to six. Solo, big shot. Now White Sox lead expanded here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Number 18, Johnny Damon. One out, nobody on. First pitch on the way to Damon. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. And we talk about a game of production, Steve. Uh, the home run, the runs. There's a swing and a ball hit high, deep to right field. Out of here, a home run. Remarkable. They now lead by seven with that solo shot. Now and uh, in the batter's the box, White it's Sox. Ramirez. Shortstop, number 10. Base is empty with one away. Ramirez. Pitch on the way. Good pitch as he's late on that one. 0 and 1. Well, you know that taco you had before the game, Steve? I think uh, I think we've got a full fiesta going early in this one. I think that we do, and, and now you're getting me hungry just thinking about it. Fouled off that first pitch, and it's 0 and 1. A swing and a miss. Alexei Ramirez is retired. But just a great sequence of pitches right there, and it only took him three. Boy, that's about as fine a job on the mound as you can get. And he starts Canerco out. And there's a called strike. Today he'd love to duplicate what he did last night when he picked up four big base hits. Swung on and missed strike two. Well, that's a pretty good pitch right there. He got that slider in the strike zone. He got the hitter out in front to swing early. And Paul Canerco strikes out, could not make contact. So they get the long ball working as they have two solo homers in this half of the inning. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Batters two through four coming right up. Here's a look at Ozzy. Ozzy Guillen. Things have been going right for him. His ball club today, uh, last half inning, they proved productive. Now they're looking to expand up. First pitch to Tejada. Ground ball headed for the middle. Back up. That's one away. So let's take a look at the Central Division race now. The trade deadline has passed here on the State Farm Standings Board. First place, the White Sox. In second place, it's the Royals. Twins in the third spot. In the fourth spot, it's the Indians. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. The uh, Chicago White Sox on fire right now, back from the dead. They couldn't do anything right before, and now they're doing everything right. The 0-0 delivery of fastball taken for a strike. Well, they've got a couple hits here, and we're into the fourth inning, so they maybe they're starting to get something going. And the second time through the lineup, maybe they'll try to figure something out, Gary. He's out. And he steps on first. That's the second out. He's retired ten in a row. The hitters are completely overmatched right now. He's got it all going on. And here's Luke Scott. And frequently walked. He's the most walked hitter in this division. Line drive. Throws on to first side is retired. So Mike Burley gets him one two three. Plenty of run support as he takes his shutout through four innings of work. We're through four in Baltimore. Clean up batter. Do up next. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. And that two run homer in his last A.B. Well they find themselves ahead in this one and obviously two big at bats. From him so far in the game, driving it around with a base hit, and then the home run, driving the ball out of the ballpark. So, getting his pitches and doing some damage. He deals. Watches that fastball that goes by him for a strike. His career average, a solid 351 lifetime off the Orioles. Passes up a ball this time and swings for a strike that's in the dirt. A swing and a miss, strike three, but a chance at first. Oh, and he's got it over to first base, and they get the out. 
Oh, great catching. He's earning his money behind the plate today, chasing that ball in the dirt, blocking it, and getting the runner out just in time. That can be a great way to start the offense if you can get a runner like that on, because that's really a steal when you do. One out, nobody on. And the first pitch. Right. Swung on and missed 0 and 1. Left two seam fastball down and away. It's awfully tough to center that ball and make solid contact. That right. time he couldn't even make any contact. The pitch hit sharply towards the hole. So that'll bring Alex Rios to the plate. In the top 10 in hits. Number 51. One out man on first. And he starts Rios out. That's hit foul by Rios. Uh, one thing they know they can count on in this lineup is his bat. He has been so consistently good. Here's the pitch. That's a strike and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. Well, they're getting blown out in this one, so they need to get out of this inning quickly without giving up any runs. You know, run out, they can get a double play. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as K. Here's the slider coming right at you in KCAM. Get a better look at that. It's going to be Przinsky, and one of the league's most prolific hitters in the top five. Two outs and a man on first. He delivers. Oh, Cut on and missed 0 1. Such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. You know, one of their best bats in the lineup, Gary. Oh, Good eye by A.J. Pierzynski lays off that one, an even count. Lifetime, pretty good number. 315 off Baltimore. The 1 1 now. This one's oh, grounded near third. Foul. One two pitch coming. And A.J. Przinsky strikes out, unable to make contact on that pitch. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand him. White Sox summit. Baltimore nothing. The mayor faced the skipper, Dave Tremblay. And some good pitching last inning. He now hopes to get the necessary offense going, get him going in the right direction. The first pitch. Hit on the ground towards second. Back up. Ah, one away. Now look at the staffs with the fewest walks allowed for the month. Found on our State Farm leaderboard. Number one, the Angels. Second, the A's. The Blue Jays third. Indians fourth. And the Mariners fifth. Well, these teams have a clear understanding that base on balls can come back to haunt the pitcher. They do not give in. They force the opposition to beat them rather than beating themselves. Oh and one Burley kicks and delivers. Oh one is a slider for a call strike. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And Jones sat down. Well it's now a Baker's does number 13 in a row. He sat down. Absolutely lights out. What a performance. Two outs space is empty. First pitch on the way. Swung on and ripped towards second. Throws to first in time. That's three down. Quick half inning there. It's over five pitches. The Orioles still looking for a run. And if you've just joined us, our broadcast of Major League Baseball on 2K Sports with John Cruck and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. Here's Mark Tian leading it off. And one of the top ten averages right now. First one to Tian. Here's the pitch. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0-1. Oh, he's having some kind of season this year, Gary. Really the guy leading this team's offense. And 
some kind of offensive production. And that's a strike. Mark Tien's going to have to take very close approach on the next one. Well, that's a textbook 12 to 6 power curveball right there. You start it up in the zone, break it to the bottom of the zone. Even if they swing and put it in play, you get an out. Able to set him down there, chalk that one up as a strikeout for him. A really nice sequence right there. He had good rhythm, three great pitches in a row, and sits him down. Hitter never got a chance to get his balance, get his at bat going there, John. Well, he just didn't look good right there in the batter's box. He needs to take a better defensive approach to extend the at bat a little longer. And that's by him on one. The pitch. And that's a strike. Dome is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Well, a lot of times movement will fool a hitter, but it looked like right here the velocity on that pitch was what caused him to swing and miss and be late. Still 0-2. Swung on, hit sharply to first. Throws in time to first. What a play. Had to stretch himself out at first base. Still able to make the throw. A great quickness to get to that ball, but then to get to his feet and make an accurate flip. That's athleticism. And it's Johnny Damon at the plate. Top five AL in runs scored. Base is empty with two outs. First pitch on the way to Damon. A swing and a ball hit high and deep down the line and right. Gone. That's a dinger. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Now this pitch low and in and he had no problem catching up to it. Get that bat around. Keep those hands behind. He did. Nice hit. Now and a shot here for, for Alexi Chicago Ramirez. Ramirez. Two down. Shortstop. Ten. Alexi Ramirez. Here's the pitch. This is swung on, lifted to deep right field. Bounces up against the wall. So there are two men down here, but they do get a man in scoring position. Number 14, Paul Canerco. Well, this is a guy right here that was made to hit fastballs, and that's what he looks for, and that's what he got right there. Put a good swing on it. He knew what to do with it for that double. First pitch. There's a swing. This one blasted high, deep center field. Gone! A two-run homer. Two-run homer just adds to a terrific hitting game they've had. Well, you know what? He went with the changeup right there, trying to get him off balance and get him out in front, but he couldn't fool him, Gary, and he hits it out of the ballpark. Now they have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. Carlos Quinton. First pitch to Quinton. Swing and a miss. Strike one. A great changeup right there. You see how far out in front of it he is? 
Swung on, hit down the line and left. It has a chance. Goodbye, home run. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Well, they're really taking advantage of him right now, Gary. Two at-bats and two home runs, and he clearly doesn't look comfortable out there. A little conference on the mound might not hurt here with either the catcher or pitching coach. Hey! We'll see Jim Johnson pitching. He'll be the relief Second pitcher for the Orioles. Well, this is a pitcher's worst nightmare right here. Throwing it and having it crushed every single time it's over the plate. And here's the first one. Here's one that's in there called strike. When you can spot your four-seam fastball to the outside corner, the hitter has to have balance at the plate and not pull off the ball. Johnson with a windup. And that's strike three, and mercifully so. Inning comes to a close, but big time damage done. But not before they strike for four runs on the strength of three home runs. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. We'll get a look at that leadoff hitter due up here in the inning. And if you are just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne, along with John Crux, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. Grounded out his last time up. And the first pitch. Swung and a ground ball to third. In time for the up. With well, the trading deadline behind us, here's how the race looks now in the Eastern Division, courtesy of State Farm. In that first spot, it's the Red Sox. Yankees in second place. Orioles third place. Rays are fourth. And it's the Blue Jays last. Nobody on base. One away. First pitch on the way. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. This one's going to be fielded by Ramirez. Two away. Number three. And we've got his tourist batting. His tourist. Ace is empty and two down. Burley with a delivery. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And he'll step on first to retire the side. That's going to do it here in the sixth inning. Steve, you can just tell by looking at it, he's thinking about it. Uh, Gary, he's bringing it today, no question about it. And I tell you, the offense has to look out because he's gaining confidence. The White Sox still ahead. Do up six, seven, eight in the lineup. Quick look at Isaac right, Ian looking up. He has to be pleased with his team's performance so far today. Now they're losing a little bit in the defensive department with this change. It may be geared more toward offense. It's just odd to make this move right now. And he starts Rios out. Liner towards the hole. That's going to bring now, up A.J. Pierzynski. Now White State Farm brings you the league leaderboard. Here's who's getting AJ the most extra Pierzynski. base hits. Seeking his first hit right here. Runner on first. Johnson with a windup. Swung on and missed on one. That pitch was way too low, but he swung at it anyway. It's a strike. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. 
One down. Just take a look at the Baltimore Orioles and how they're ranking in the American League right now. Fourth and double. Fourth and wide. And they're in the top ten of team batting average. That depth and length of the lineup paying big dividends for this team as they seem to find ways to get base hits. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. That's it. Pretty well down the line and left. He has to back up for it. Comes away with the out. Now up to the plate for the Chicago White Sox. And as Jim told me in the box, and a home run back in the fourth inning. A runner on first with two outs. And Johnson a little bit outside with that. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location and believe me, very difficult to hit. The one and one. Can't make contact on that fastball. One and two. Two outs in this inning, but a man on first base. And here, you know, they, they've just got to find a way to get it out. Get a ground ball, get the force out at second. Get in there and see if you can't score some runs. Tommy will foul that one away. The one two pitch. Curveball ball that tied him up in knots. Swung on and missed. Side retired. No runs at a base hit. They leave one man on at first. Seventh inning stretch time in Baltimore. It'll be batters two through four. Do up next. Miguel Tejada leading it off. Grounded out last time. Number 10, Miguel Tejada. Burley with a delivery. That one's drilled to short. And in there, he's two for three today. That'll bring up Matt Wader. Here's what the White Sox schedule looks like. Monday, they finish up this Baltimore series. They host a team on a roll, the Minnesota Twins. That's a three-game series. Following that, they face Maglio Ordonez, a series at home against the Tigers, a team they beat in the previous series between the two. So a lot of home games on the way. The fans will have a chance to see their guys many times over the next couple of weeks. Runner on first base, nobody out. First pitch to Weeders. And a strike, Burley catches him looking. Now, Gary, it's tough to score when you only get three hits. We're deep into this ball game, and they have just not been able to mount any pressure against him today. Swing and a rocket toward short. And it's caught by Ramirez. And that will hold him at first. And Rymel is batting. One down, runner at first. Burley with a delivery. Looks at one. That's in there for a strike. I think the hitter was looking for something out over the plate that he could drop. Swung on, hit. Oh, my. That almost got him. I don't know how he got out of the way. Good offensive chance here. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. And by the way he went after that in the box, Stephen, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind him. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and he took advantage of it. This one's grounded hard up the middle. He picks it up. That's one. And two. Double play. And a frustrated lineup indeed. That's now seven shutout innings. The Orioles still looking for a run. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. Well, it's always nice to have a defensive replacement coming off the bench and holding a lead or holding a deficit and giving yourself a chance to win. Now he needs to come up with a big play. And it gets in there. Another base hit. He's done it four times today. So that brings Alexei Ramirez up. He doubled in his last appearance. Alexi Ramirez. A runner on first, no out. First pitch to him. There's a swing towards the hole.
Now We've back. talked about a guy who's swinging a pretty hot bat right now. It's his third hit of this ball game, and it comes with nobody out in the inning. Runners at first and second. Nobody out. Johnson with a windup. There's a swing and ball hit well deep into right center field. And out of here, a home run, two runs, one swing. Two run homer just adds to a terrific hitting game they've had. Pretty good ball game right there. Three home runs in a game. Yo! He gets back up here, Steve. He might not want to dig in. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you, he is swinging the bat. Now they have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. Quinton. First pitch to Quinton. Ball is blasted. A long high drive deep to center field. Over the wall. A two run home run. Well, he's just putting on a show now. It's not fair. Three home runs in one game. And you know, you get to this point, Steve, everybody starts thinking about the next at bat. How about that? Can he do a fourth? Well, it's, I don't know if I'd want to be a, an opposing pitcher right now. This offense looks unstoppable. And the first pitch. Right. Cut on and missed on one. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. Oh, swing and a miss. He's in the hole. Two strikes. And that one swung out and missed by Gordon Beckham. He's up in the mid 90s now, so pretty good velocity, but not much break on it. Two straight fastballs. He still couldn't catch up with it. Well, the pitcher comes back with a fastball right after he threw one and gets the K. You know he's throwing gas out there. And we've got Clay Meredith out on the mound. The Orioles turning to a reliever here. And uh, as he looks at this White Sox lineup, what are they going to see from him today? Uh, Clay Meredith gets it done with deception. Nothing overpowering with him. Kind of a sidearm delivery, fastball in the high 80s. His change up a very effective pitch, and at times he'll go to the slider as well. Change up, swung on and missed. That's the out number two. Well, that's what you want is efficiency. You always want to try to retire a hitter on three pitches or less. If you can get it with the strikeout, you'll take that too. First pitch, here it comes. Ball hit very well, soaring into deep center field. Gone! Goodbye home run! They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Well, okay, there's not a lot of guys playing today that can hit one that far and straight away center field. Williams once asked McGuire, do you smell it burning when you do that? I think there was some uh, wood burning on that one. Now batting. They, they have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. Mark Tien. First one to Tien. Here's the pitch. Can't connect. It's 0-1. Well, a great pitch right there. Threw in that slider. Hit her just out in front of it. Swung early. Came up empty. Towards center field. This one to Jones. And there's the third up. But not before they strike for five runs on the strength of three long balls. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. And we've got Jones batting. Center fielder. Number 11. Jones. Here's the first pitch. 
Back first pitch a fastball that's in there for a strike. A tremendous effort out on the mound in this one. We're deep into the ball game. I mean, we're getting close to the end of this one. They've only been able to get four hits against him, and he shut them down and kept them off the scoreboard. Burley with a delivery. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. And it's caught by Ramirez. And now we've got one down here in this eighth inning of a shutout ball game. Now he's just putting on a show out there right now, Gary. Here's the first one. And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0-1. And, and you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. And that's hit Damon to field. And you got to be thinking ahead just a little bit. He doesn't look like he's getting tired. It's still a shutout. Well, at this point, adrenaline just takes over. He's focused, determined. He's ignoring any fatigue. Head up the middle, Burley throws on to first in time to retire the side. We don't get a lot of chances to see a pitching performance like this. Now you kind of like his chances. He's been unflappable the entire game. The White Sox still ahead. Dave Tremblay looking on. He's reflecting right now. Not uh, likely a lot of positive reflections, however, in this game. And Jim Tomei to lead it off. It's all over, Jim. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Starts him off swinging at his shoe tops for a strike. Can you say ground ball? That's what that sinker down of the zone is meant to do. That's 0 and 2. And Meredith's got a few pitches here to waste if he wants. Well, he just couldn't wait for that changeup to get in the strike zone. You can't try to chase it. You have to let it come to you. Down on strikes there. Nice piece of pitching work. Oh, pretty healthy break. 88 mile per hour breaking ball. And it's Johnny Damon. Had a home run back in the sixth. One out. Base is empty. Strike Meredith with the pitch. And he gets this one by him on one. Strike, Strike two. two. No balls. Two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, he'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Well, this starts out a strike, and it ends up a strike. you got to swing the bat. Gone! A home run! They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. And it's Alexei Ramirez now, one away. Shortstop, Alexei Ramirez. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch, line drive. Out number two. Now we have a look at the league leaders for the best on base percentage. The table settings brought to you by State Farm. These guys really understand the nature of the game. They understand that they cannot help the pitcher retire them. They force the pitcher to throw it over the plate. They can put it in play and get a base hit, or they'll take a walk. And he starts Canerco out. Swung on and missed. Strike one. Over his lifetime, 293 off the Orioles. Can't catch up with it, 0-2. Well, anytime you recognize a slider, you got to be very patient with it. You can't be over anxious. You got to stay back. And then when you see it good enough, let it fly. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. This one is slipping away for the O's. And we've got PA batting. Right fielder, number 19. Felix P.A. Oh. Nope, that one not in there. Burley misses. Now this offense has just been shut down in this one. I mean, they le they've left one runner on base the entire right game. We're in the ninth inning here. They just have not had any real opportunity. 1-1 one, one pitch. And that's swung on and hit. Rios. 
And it's in there. The hitting streak continues. And that's going to bring Cesar Astoris Number three. Well, a great job right there by the first hitter in this Here's inning to good. get on base. And you know, you, a lot of big innings are started with that first guy getting on. And you have one or two big innings in a game, and that can be the difference in the outcome. Burley with a delivery. 0 1. Good hard cutter in for a call strike. And you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter. You're way ahead of the game. And it holds at 0 2. That swung on and hit. Quentin's going to play it. One away. Pressure continues to mount. Not a bad way to start the last inning. We've got a shutout going. You want to get the first guy. He's going to need every bit of that defensive support in the end. First pitch to Tejada. Ball one. Good action on that cut fastball down in the zone. Hitter just laid off. A line drive toward short. The second for one. And there's the second out of double play. A tough loss here for this crowd today, but boy, do they see some some kind of pitching performance from the visiting team. Well, it's time here for the Pepsi Clutch Performer. Our fantastic display by Mark Burley got it done today. Well, you know, when you're facing a tough pitcher, it doesn't take long to realize that we're in for a tough day. And this team found out very early how tough this pitcher was going to be on them in this game. He's a top flight starter, but he had everything going and mowed down this lineup. And this sends a message to the rest of the league also that this guy is for real and ready to go. And we got to see a terrific performance out of their starter, and he was able to ride that one on to victory. Well, an outstanding effort. He had everything working today, the good stuff and location to shut down the opponent. And we hope you've enjoyed today's 2K sports broadcast of Major League Baseball. For Steve John and our entire 2K sports crew, I'm Gary Thorne. We will see you soon.